I'm Bob Hoffman in Troy, Michigan. This week's Good Neighbor is taking a tragedy and turning it into a purpose, really a legacy that's going to help a lot of families. Hazlitt resident Dory Bath is a mom on a mission to make the world a better place. Her inspiration is her son Danny. Their lives were forever changed on February 27th, 2021 with his friends and then he was with his girlfriend and I had talked to him right at midnight and he said that he, um, we agreed he would be home by two o'clock. So I went to bed. I woke up at 1.35, kind of startled, but I thought, you know, he's not due till two o'clock. So I got up for a minute and I looked out the window and I just felt this, this hug. It, it felt, I just felt like a heaviness, but it was also a comfort. Dory says she shrugged off the uncomfortable feeling and tried to go back to sleep. An hour later, the police were at her front door with the news no parent should ever hear. Danny's car hit black ice crashing into a tree. Danny died at just 19 years old. When I asked them what time the accident was, they said around 1.30. And, I, and I'll never forget the police officer, the look on his face, which I didn't know what it meant at the time, but now I do. But the look on his face was because I said, well, it was 135. And that's when his car called 911. And there was a person behind him that also caught, called 911 at 135. So I know that Danny came home. Dory says you never get over the death of a loved one. But what's helping the Bath family heal is incorporating Danny's passion for passing it forward into their lives. Before Danny bought his dream car, he drove this van, which the Bath family is now giving to the Samora family of Troy, Michigan. Dory says it wasn't easy finding a family who needed a car. I was calling around to organizations and they're like, yes, we can pick it up and we'll da 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 take it to auction and I heard this or felt this voice going uh no <laughs> that's Danny <laughs> he wanted it to go to a family and he made sure we found the right family Dory says she feels Danny is always with her helping to guide her and you got married on the day we celebrated Danny's birthday yeah and so there's all these things and um and from my understanding you had two vehicles on one of them just isn't working anymore. Wasn't running anymore, no. When was that? Was it, it started going downhill maybe f a month before we were in contact. I'd with say you. about a month or a month and a half because I was walking to work. You know what? That's right when that's right when I got the message from Danny to donate his car. So that's when I, looking back at it, I know Danny orchestrated the whole thing. So this is Danny's gift to you, you. and your family. Thank you. Hey, glad we could do it. Not only did the Baths donate Danny's car, but Danny's friends and the community made it extra special by filling it with supplies for the Samora family. I got a lot of new stuff that I needed. I got new socks, I got a new basketball, I got a new journal, yeah, and I got new clothes and new shoes. Um, I like the toilet paper. <laughs> it was just super exciting to see uh, both the kids, uh, just their eyes lit up, because they didn't know that there was going to be anything in the van. They just thought, there's some people coming over and they're giving us a van. We They opened up the van and they saw, you know, some toys and some new clothes and just a bunch of goodies too. Just, you know, a couple non-perishable items and toilet paper, as I've heard was a major hit. It's just like a huge weight. And also when they brought the van and it was filled with stuff, it was really emotional for me because it was like laundry stuff and, and, and groceries. So it was just like a load off because that stuff is expensive right now. <laughs> and I, I cried when they left. The Bath family also created a nonprofit called Danny Bath Legacy to continue Danny's legacy of helping others. They plan to give a car away each year 
and they also started a scholarship in Danny's name. On one hand, it's extremely sad and emotional, but on the other hand, it's this is what we taught our kids to do, and they just keep on doing it and go further with it. Well, obviously, 19 is too young to go, you know, but like his mom said, I think Danny orchestrated this. You know, I think, I think he, he put this together. And from the stories we hear, um, I mean, that's just the type of guy he was uh, in, in, the, in the world. You know, he was giving, he was caring, and we hope that we can just pass that on to someone eventually too. We wanna say thank you to the Bath family for turning a tragedy into a purpose to help others. You're this week's Good Neighbors. If you'd like to learn more about the Danny Bath Legacy Fund, visit our website, fox47news.com forward slash good neighbors.